Alright, so I have the Schema Build trailer and I bought a uh, Calibre lift system for it that is a shock you add on to the Tungy trailer and it'll lift it, it'll tilt the trailer so you can drive your ATV or your snowmobile off or on. So we're going to show you in this video how to install the uh, shock. It's not too hard to do. Um, there's only a couple of brackets that you need to install and it does come with instructions and we'll show you how to install these onto your um, snowmobile trailer. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to tilt the trailer up on the ground, not attached to your vehicle. And you want to have it supported with like a 2x4 or a decent piece of wood. And also have a friend um, stand like near the corner to help hold it up for you. Alright, according to the instructions, the first step to do when installing the bracket is from this pivot point right here, you're going to measure up 25 inches on the top bracket. And you're going to mark the 25 inch spot and tape the first bracket onto the um, top of the bar that comes down. Alright, so now we've got our first bracket taped into place right on the top of the underside of the bed, uh, 25 inches from the pivot point, which is down here, just like the instructions said to do. Uh, now, the next step is to lower the tilt bed down so it's flat on the ground. Alright. So the next step was to measure from the center of that ball on the deck that you placed to the next bracket. Um, you have to be from the middle of this ball to the middle of the other ball 12 and a quarter inches. So we measured it out with a tape measure and it's exactly right on the money. Um, kind of doing this with the camera but I measured it off camera so we should be all set there. Alright so I finished uh, taping those two brackets into position, the one at the top and the one on the bottom. Uh, the instructions say when it's open it should be like 19 and 3 quarter inches from the center of that tip to the center of the tip down below. Uh, when it's closed it has to be like 12 and a quarter inches to allow room for the shock to be compressed. So I have my measurements all set. I tested it uh, on the ground with this collapsed like the instructions say to do and so now I should be able to drill my holes I'll put the screws into the top and the bottom bracket and then we should be able to install the shock. Alright so now that we have the uh, strut installed on our tilt bed trailer I'm going to show you how it works. The first thing we need to do is pull this pin on the tilt bed trailer. There's a cloud pin on the other side. Okay. So just pull right out for you and then just lift the cup on your trailer and the shock will extend for you and this is what it looks like. Uh, I had to make it like an altercation at the beginning of the video. I, we showed you installing this on the wood. Um, as I read further into the instructions at first it said to install it onto the deck then later on it shows you to install it onto the frame. So we've got it all set up and the works awesome and it tilts the bed of the trailer down it holds it up pretty good so you can drive your ATV right off and on it. Alright so now we'll show you how easy it is <clears throat> to drive your ATV onto your new um, onto your tilt bed trailer with the new shock install. It works pretty awesome. And it's as easy as that. Happy trails. Please subscribe to our channel. Alright, so now we'll show you how easy it is <clears throat> to drive your ATV onto your new um, onto your tilt bed trailer with the new shock install. It works pretty awesome.
And it's as easy as that. Happy trails. Please subscribe to our channel.